Hi. So since we're going to be sitting in the same place for a little while, we thought for this video we would just show you around our van. It's kind of different from when we were traveling before since we're going to be out here for so long. We have a lot more stuff and we've rearranged a lot of things so we thought it'd be interesting to show you guys around really quick. Okay, we have two cabbies up here and the one is for me. My clothes, all of them. That's uh, gonna last like we do like a laundry once a week. And that's my daughter's. Hers is more colorful, yeah. And then this one is my bed. So during the daytime, we'll fold it up and put the pillows and blankets in between for storage. And then also underneath, it, there's a little net there. We can keep all the other stuff. We have like uh, all the Korean dry food in here. Like uh, not just Korean, but like uh, nuts and seeds and the mushrooms. I like tuna fish and then some beans and then all the canned goods. And this works really good because for emergency, we cannot always get to the fresh tofu. So this one is really good. You don't have to refrigerate it. And then we have extra copies and macaroni cheese and all that good stuff. It's the like soy, dry soy curds. And then the, like a milk that we don't have to put in the refrigerator. There's all the buckets of like soy curds and stuff, gochujang. So we put it two extra like um, what is it, plastic containers. So we keep the kim and ramen. And then the paper goods and slender wraps and stuff like that. The mia, kim, the kuksu. And then the like a... Uh, yeah, like uh, make a Korean pancake and stuff like that. Or noodles, copy, extra dishes right here. We have this bathroom where you can put the shower curtain here. In the back here is another cabin. We store like uh, all the like, sun cream. And then this one is for black tank. We also got another thing here. We got put all our like noodle things that we need every day. This basket for the, like, the shower curtain. And then extra soap, really roomy, absolutely nice. And then we have uh, like extra toilet tissues and stuff like that. Put the rug to keep the dust up from right here drainage. The pantry here, not the pantry but shelves, like a frying pan and rice cooker and stuff right here. And then there's uh, our like dish holders. And the stuff we were talking about, told you about a long time ago. There's all the, our other stuff. <laughs> Little red and the baking soda and the vinegar and then soap. Not that big of a space, but it's comfortable enough. We do the dishes. We have a hot water there. We have a propane stove underneath here, two burners. And then underneath here is very interesting. So, you know, this is an empty coffee container. Do you want to hold it up? No, you come closer. I don't want to hold it up. And we store our rice. And it works really, really well. Okay. And then that's our coffee. All the spice um, sauces, like honey and vinegar, you know, stuff. Stuff. Our spices for cooking, you know, it's better lay like that. It's like a lot of space saving. All the things we usually use. And this one. <laughs> My daughter loves ice cream. This container is plastic, very light. It's useful, reusable. So we keep the, all the different spices in there. And we store right in here. And it closes all our spoons and stuff like that. The dish is like a pakungi duge, jagan dish duge, kunga duge for two person that we will use every day. Yeah, we also normally keep two of our big bowls in there, this one. Yeah, in the microwave, we hardly ever use it in the winter time. Maybe we heat up more stuff, but not right now. So empty containers for now. And the refrigerator, there's all the stuff. We chogochujangun isayaji, bibim ramen, bibim guksu, bibim pape, everything. And then um, some of the, you know, water, ganjang. And, you know, we buy a lot of salad and stuff like that. These plastic containers, we reuse it all the time because it really fits in refrigerator well, like space-wise, one, two. And then we cut up fresh veggies and we keep it in there. See, there's another one. There's our egg, milk, and then hanguk banchan. 
We took a shelf out here in the middle because otherwise that kimchi container in the very back there wouldn't fit no matter what we did. And then there's some veggies and the banana was getting really old so we put it in there. And we have a small freezer <laughs> but it doesn't keep anything really freeze. And then here we kept some like uh, you know napkins and paper towel and trash bag in there. There's our closet. And then we have our karaoke in there. Once more we sing. And guess what's in here? Our potato and the onion. On this part, I have one more thing to show you. We had this curtain originally in the very front here. But we moved over here. So at night, when I sleep in the bed, I go to bed early and she stays up. And when we go to bed, we just put it up like that. And that's our water tank, but we have enough sheeting here, so we don't always use this extra sheet, so we keep like water bottles and our, you know, fruit. And this is a huge water pan. I will have to tell you about this part. Uh, there's like couch in the back there, what you call that thing? Cushion? The cushion, yeah. Yeah, we had to get um, leave it at home because it wasn't really comfortable because it was straight up, back was hurting all the time. So we just put the pillow here during the night time I use it and then we put the blanket one here. So we still have all the baskets and stuff under here, like water. That's all my daughter's stuff. She carries a lot of stuff and it's a heavy. And I keep telling her she should take a walk take a walk while I drive Libby, so it's not so heavy. <laughs> Another thing is we have a lot of stuff up here, let me show you. Um, that's our um, hiking bags. And up here, believe it or not, we got a lot of stuff, extra bathroom tissue, and then the Korean people don't travel without this coffee mix, right? A lot of crackers and stuff like that. It holds like tons, tons of dry food, which is really good. We try not to put anything breakable up there in case everything comes this way. There's more ramen in the back there. <laughs> ramen, ramen, ramen. Anyway, that's it. I show you everything. Okay, so there was a more updated tour of the interior of our van and like all of the stuff that we have in here. Definitely Libby is a lot heavier than it used to be for sure. We can totally tell when we're going uphill. Yeah, we've been living in here for almost a month. Mm -hmm. A few more days it will be a month. Yeah. And we seems like we have everything in here. What's the hardest part for you? Veggies! <laughs> okay, that was very Not enough fruit, not enough uh, veggies. Like, uh, I like, uh, yeah, I like all the veggies. Especially when you're vegetarian and pescatarian, there's only so much source of it. We've been eating like rice like crazy, at least twice a day. What's been your favorite part so far? Favorite part? Mm, all of them. All of them? Except the veggie part. Wow. <laughs> Everything else is so far so good. That's good. I would say the hardest part for me is not having Wi-Fi. <laughs> Which sounds really, I know, but I, I do miss it. Like I can go a couple of weeks without it, but I don't know if this keeps going on for months and months and months of just being Wi-Fi list. I just feel so disconnected from all the news and like everything that's happening. My favorite part has been all the new places and just being out of the city and seeing the mountains and trees and hiking a lot, even though I'm struggling so much. You did yesterday, <laughs> yes. I know. Well, not just yesterday. Pretty much every time we hike, like I don't know how I get up the You mountain. couldn't keep up with your old mommy. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. Well, I struggled when I was coming down. You're still ahead of me though. <laughs> the thing, I don't Only struggle. Steps. Yeah, the thing, I don't struggle going downhill as much as you do in terms of like struggling. I'm just more cautious because I'm more afraid of falling. Ironically oh, no. enough, I'm more afraid of falling, so I go slower coming down than my mom does. Because, mm -hmm. But she actually did fall. So I almost did fall. I think I fall twice like, and actually. I slipped about three times absolutely. Right. But I went really slow and I didn't fall once. So worth it. <laughs> Kabuki. <laughs> Worth it! Amanun toki, nanun kabuki. Yeah, but guess who finished the race first? That's it. <laughs>
<laughs> oh jeez. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed our little update. We'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye! I'm always in order to light. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs>